What's going on guys, Blondon here back again in The Seekers. And really quick, uh, before I go any further, I do wanna say if you look in the top right, you will see a countdown now that's The Seekers will spot you in 45 seconds. Um, that's something I was talking about last episode that just seemed to have disappeared. And I think there's just been some updates that brought it back. Whatever was broken before is now fixed. So now that I shut that off, it is gone. Okay, so that's fixed. And then another thing, again, if you caught the last episode, there was uh, a scenario where I was talking about... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god, what are my weapons? Nope, that's not it. Okay, we got a couple of them here. One second. One down. Two down. Okay, any others? No, I think we're good. Um, so, in the very first episode, the... Throughout, um, kind of the distance, you could see that there was like enemy enemy bases something like that and then that seemed to have disappeared in the second episode and i didn't know what was going on well turns out that was a glitch they were never supposed to show up in the first place so uh it seems like that was also fixed um so there's a there's been a few updates since we've last played and so i'm excited to jump back in and, and see what we can get done here um now that it's daytime let me start this back up just because it is so dark in in my base here um, <laughs> that fire didn't seem to do anything. Okay, I guess it's got some lighting issues here. I'm just going to shut it off. I don't need it. Um, okay. The main thing that I want to get done in this episode is the SOS signal. I've been talking about it since the first episode. Uh, I don't know what it is or how it works, but I'm just going to start building campfires in the shape of, like, SOS and just see what happens. So... Um, something one of you guys did mention about like the green rings is possibly that it was like kind of a if I remember it's some kind of what what is happening with the grass right now is this supposed to look like this because of the wind yeah it's raining out right now but man those trees are bent too am I in the middle of a storm with like a massive storm without realizing it like, it doesn't sound like it, but it definitely looks like it. Look at these trees. Oh, my God. Is there going to be, like, some kind of tornado swinging through or something? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, anyway, um, as I was saying, someone was mentioning, like, those green rings when I placed an object um, that it could be... Like, here, I'll bring it up here really quick. It could be... Oh, there's no green ring on this. Okay, well, I don't have any materials right now to um, build an object. Let me see if I can grab some really quick. But there's a green ring around everything that I was trying to place, and I wasn't sure what it was for. And one of you guys mentioned that it could be for um, the SOS signal, something relating to that. Something about it being like a like a zone that, I don't know, if like you, you're supposed to be like away from or something. I'm not 100% certain, but um, I don't know. I'm just going to try building it a little bit of ways away from my camp here. And just see what happens. I don't even know if this is, you know, if this is the right path to take, but um, we're gonna give it a shot here. So we're gonna need a bunch of branches and a bunch of stone. We've got enough for the first campfire here. Uh, this is a good spot. It's wide open over here, so I guess I'll just uh, throw it down. Um, there's one, and we're gonna need some stone. What do I have for my inventory here? Um, okay, I've got my pickaxe, my axe, uh, sledgehammer bow, saw, and I do have this shotgun. So let's try and find some stone here really quick. Um, bulk up on that, and then get back to building these campfires. All right, let's see where we're at here. I've been smashing rocks left and right. Yeah, 75, 85, 94, I think, is how much I have now. I think we're going to be good for a while. If anything, I'm going to be short on sticks. I did pick up a few sticks as well, but um, definitely not as much stone as I did here. So let's find this other campfire up here. And now, again, I, I have no clue what I'm doing, and I don't even know if this is the right thing. It doesn't give me any kind of, like, template or blueprint or anything on, like, the SOS thing. So I, I, I just don't know. 
Okay, there's two. I mean, I'm, I assume I have to spell out SOS. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I guess we're just placing this these uh, campfires down here and seeing what happens. This is going to take quite a few, isn't it? <laughs> there's no way this is right, is it? There's no way. Uh, we're kind of getting into the shape of an S. What happens if I just try and light them here? Oh, oh. Break up. Oh no, that's my saw. Blasted his head off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um... Let's try and light this here again really quick. Wait, why is this not lighting? Need to add, add fuel. I did. Oh gosh, I just used up all, all those sticks. It's like nothing hap- So nothing, like, there's no indicator saying like, hey, you know, light this many more campfires or anything like that uh, to, to do the SOS. Um, I'm going to extinguish that for now. There's no way this is right, is it? Okay, well, <laughs> I hope it is. If it's not, it's going to take me a while here. Um, I'm already short on sticks, so I'm going to knock down a bunch of trees here and um, I'm going to finish out this SOS signal with the campfires and... I mean, yeah, and then I'm gonna get some fuel and then start them all up and just see if anything happens. Okay, I think that does it. I don't know if this is right or not. And the letters are all kind of goofy, but this is supposed to be an S, this is supposed to be an O, and this is supposed to be a bigger S. <laughs> so, yeah, let me, uh, can I move this a little bit? Oh, there we go, okay. So now we have about, th what, like three steps left. That's uh, number one, get some more fuel to light up all of these. And then number two, actually light them up and three, I guess, is just wait for nighttime. Or actually, uh, switch the last two. So we'll wait for nighttime and then light them all. Um, does this take... Does it take grow the plant fiber as fuel? <gasps> no, it doesn't. Um, we'll have to get a bunch more sticks. And I guess probably logs is going to be our best option here. Um, logs is probably really going to fill these up a lot better than all the small sticks. So let me uh, do that here. I'm glad there's not any kind of weight limit on my character. So let's see. Uh, we've got four. Does it use all four if I throw it in? Oh, man. All four filled that up. Um, okay. So that's full. That's full. Oh, I have so much more to do. It's about 530 right now. Okay. I'm going to have to try and zoom through these and then light them all once uh, it hits nighttime here. 
Okay, it's getting way too dark. It's almost 7 o'clock now, and for some reason the sky is both black and red, which um, is kind of unsettling. But um, what I want to do here is I want to save, then I'll probably, I guess, just sleep through the night. Unless I can... Just got, they just got a little bit brighter right there, but uh, unless I can use a flashlight or something, or a torch. We do have a flashlight with a little bit of life left. Ultimately, what I want to do, the, the plan now is once we get all of them filled up with fuel and then lit up, um, I want to make sure we've got enough guns and ammo on us because I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if there's going to be some kind of like horde that comes in or we have to fight off a ton of them at once. Um, I really have no clue, so it'll be interesting to see, that's for sure. Um, but for the time being, yeah, we're gonna have to shut this off here. And then let's just see if we can sleep through the night here really quick. All right, now we've got some daylight here. It's uh, about nine in the morning. Um, let's make sure that we're topped up. We got pretty much everything good except for vitamins. I don't know if we can get that out of the pumpkin or not. Let's try that here really quick. Oh yeah, okay. Looks like we're good to go there. And then let's just throw a Molotov cocktail in there. Um, and then I do have another pistol on me that takes, what, 357? Do I have 350? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's throw a couple boxes in here. So we got 357. We got some, uh, 12 gauge, uh, shotgun shells in here. And so we've got our shotgun and then we've got our pistol as well as our bow, which is about to break, which isn't the end of the world, honestly. So we'll just leave all that and then... I mean, yeah, let's uh, let's get back to it. I'm going to get some more fuel for the fires, and then um, I'm willing to bet by the time I get all these filled up, it'll be close to nighttime, and we can figure out if all of this was worth it or not. <laughs> so we don't have to fill them all up. I think this might be okay. These are all good. So I think I finished the letter S. So let's throw six in here. That Oh, that's three quarters of the way done. Yeah, we should, I think, have enough for the rest of them. Yeah, I really don't need to fill them all up. I'm just going to do, like, bare minimum. Enough to get uh, uh, the fire started and probably end up drying in all those, uh, the Seekers. And we're coming up on the last one here. Uh, last two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to reload this quick. Ooh, took his head off. Okay, where were we? Um, that one's finished, so we got the last one right here. Okay, it is now 2100 hours, which I can't think of what that is right offhand. Is that like 9, 10 o'clock? Um, one last thing I'm going to do is probably grab this flashlight, even though there's really nothing left on it. I'm going to throw my pickaxe in here. Oh, can I not equip that? Oh, that's right. You got to put it right in here. Okay, I think that's it. I think I should be okay on everything else down here for the time being. Um, so I guess let's go and light everything up here. Oh, I don't have batteries for the flashlight. Hey, let me see if I have anything in here. I'm pretty sure I do, actually. Yes, yes, I do. Wait, it looks full now. Am I good? No. Could do that, and then let's bring these in here, maybe? No. How do I... <laughs> How do I add them here? Oh, double click it? Oh, okay, okay. Now I gotta equip the flashlight and then double click this. There we go. Now it added a, a battery. Let's throw this back in here. Now we should... Oh my goodness, that is bright. Okay. <laughs> very bright, very close range. It does... You can't see very far. But I guess we got a little ring of light around us here. So... Hopefully our, oh no, <laughs> might have to grab a different uh, lighter as well. Okay, the weird thing about this is when you light a fire here, kind of gets stuck in place for a second. Why are these not lighting up? Do they not have enough? Oh, I was not, I was not waiting long enough. Yeah, I get stuck every time that I light the fire. We, oh no, we uh, might need to go back and get the other 
lighter here. Oh gosh, yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh no, can we use stones, I think? I thought we could do that before. Yeah, there it goes. We got about 10 seconds and oh no. 30% chance to ignite. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back and uh, and get that second lighter there. Just used up all of our stones. <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how many there are gonna be. Seekers incoming three. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. I think we'll have time to get. Oh, come on, we're. Uh, let me get out of here first. Where are you guys at? One down. Two down. There's one more, I think, over here. Yeah, here he is. And he's dead. Wait, was that it? Oh, the SOS bar at the top. No way. Oh, so I think I, I think it's right. Oh. I think they're, they're coming again. Okay. So the bar is, is not seemingly going anywhere up at the top here. So I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem to be a good thing right now. Especially considering the fact that I am lighting up all of these and it's still not moving. It makes me think like I didn't place the campfires in the right spot or maybe I don't have enough campfires. I really don't know. Um, it kind of makes me nervous. Like... Like I'm doing all this nothing. It's not necessarily nothing just yet. Okay, we got four Seekers incoming now. It's one more than the last one. Hopefully I can get these last few started here. I should be able to hear them coming. Okay, here one. Okay, here he is. One down. Oh boy, I hear the other one can't see oh here he is it's done reload should have just two left okay the sos is going up a little bit there oh that is started oops okay i don't know is it just a waiting game oh this one's out whoa <laughs> blessed that one away is he still alive oh he is Okay, um, this one's out. Man, maybe I do need a lot more fuel. So the SOS has gone up a tiny bit. It looks like it might be moving. I'm trying to watch it, but I'm not seeing a ton of progress. Is it because there's other ones that are going out? I think it might be because some of the, uh, the fires are dying. Maybe I should have filled them all up all the way. I guess I kind of just assumed that as long as they were all lit up at the same time, it would be okay. But <laughs> apparently that's not the case. It looks like it's going up a little bit, but it's so hard to tell. Uh, oh, this just needs to be lit up. Oh no, I need another lighter. I don't know if I've got another lighter. If not, I need stone. And now I'm curious that if daytime comes or these fires all end up burning out, will... Will this stay at the same progress that it's at? Oh, I do have another lighter. Um, or we'll have to restart the next night. I really do not know. That makes me nervous because this actually might be way harder than I realized. Yeah, I really hope that if we uh, if we don't finish it tonight that, um, that we don't lose the progress on it because that's going to be kind of a buzzkill. <laughs> I really don't want to see that happen. Oh no. It's 6 6 a.m. almost 7 a.m. now. And the SOS signal thing went away. So I do not know for certain 
whether or not it's going to come back or not. So since it's gone now, I might as well try and ex extinguish as much as I can to preserve as much fuel as possible. And then today we can actually fill up uh, the rest of these with fuel and just completely uh, top them all off and then probably just get some extra uh, wood just in case and just so that we've got some on hand in order to uh, keep filling them up in case we need to do that. Guys, yeah, so I think since it's 7 a.m. now and the SOS signal thing went away, man, that guy is creepy. Um, but I think uh, we should be good as far as the seekers go. Oh man, okay, uh, yeah, this is gonna be more difficult than I, uh, than I realized. Um, one thing that I really wanna do right now is actually, um, probably loot some more and, um, and try and find some more lighters. Cause if we don't have any more lighters, then we're gonna have to find a ton of stone because we can light it with stone. It's just, there's a 30% chance and I don't like those odds. I'd rather, uh, have it light up right off the bat. Um, but now that I say that, I just realized I haven't, I haven't seen a single suitcase around this plane. Or really in general, I found one military crate earlier and that was it. So once again, I don't, is this from earlier? <laughs> uh, so once again, I don't know if this is, if that's intended or not. I would think the suitcases would have kind of hung around, but... I'm thinking that we can't rely on those now. And now that we can't rely on those uh, suitcases, I am now once again curious about those enemy bases that we once saw. Well, at least we saw the labels for them. We haven't been able to actually find one yet. We haven't tried that hard. I tried one day. Um, it was a lot of running and we ended up getting to the end of the map uh, and not finding one But I'm thinking I just didn't try hard enough. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll have time to search for one of those enemy bases I'm thinking not at this point Because I would rather spend most of my time right now just gathering resources and <laughs> Try to get this SOS fire started again for tonight and having all the fuel and weapons I need uh, ready for that and speaking of that, I should probably go back and make sure I'm stocked up on all my ammo and everything that I might need for the round two tonight. Okay, so I'm back at the base right now, just trying to organize a little bit and cook up some food. And I put some of my uh, animal hide on the tanning rack there as well. We've got a bunch of 45 ammo. Do we have a gun that takes 45 rounds? Uh, nothing in there. What about this? And 1911 does take 45. Okay. Uh, let's take advantage of that. How many are in each of those? 50? But is that 50 overall or just 50 each? It looks like 50 each. Uh, that'll be super nice. <laughs> um, let's organize these a little bit. We've got a little bit of wood. We could be doing better, but I'm not going to complain about this this much that we've got. Uh, did we cook that food enough? No, we did not. Let's um, put a little bit of fuel in here quick. Uh, I don't really want to use my lighter to, to light these up. My lighter is now a lot more precious than I originally uh, realized. I think that was the last one. And if we've got no, no more luggage to search through, we might be in trouble. Um, let me see if I can build a bow here really quick. I can't remember how we do that right in here. We just need rope. Rope, we need some plant fiber, which I dumped a bunch on the ground. <laughs> Okay, pretty much our entire hotbar is full of weapons. Now we got the bow, the revolver, the M1911, and the R870 shotgun. So I think we're going to be okay uh, when it comes to the horde again tonight. My biggest concern is keeping that fire going. So if we can't find any more luggage, I'm going to have to go hit some rocks here. So, yeah, I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to try and get as much stone as I can here. And then uh, if I can find some crates along the way, like some luggage or military crates, um, I'll search those. Though it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a whole lot, honestly. 
Again, I don't know if that's a glitch, if that's intended, or what the deal is, because like we're on day seven, so I don't know if after you know a certain amount of days they just disappear. But either way, they're gone, so they are not an option, so we will make do another way. Okay, the uh, 45 rounds didn't do a ton of damage. It's better than nothing, but yeah, that was um, that was not great in terms of uh, damage from those things. But we've got a bunch of different guns to choose from because we did quite a bit of looting in the beginning, so I think we'll still be okay. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We've got uh, 2550. 65 stone, which I think should be enough to light up the uh, the campfires if the lighter runs out, which I believe it most definitely will. And then as far as sticks go, how much do we have? We've got 40, um, almost 80, almost 90, close to 100. I just really roughly did the math, uh, but I think we'll be okay. 100, uh, 100 of the sticks as well as... 8, 16, 20, uh, 20 logs. The 20 logs isn't as great, but they will provide more fuel for the campfires than, uh, than the sticks. So let's start filling these up here really quick and just see where we're at. Okay, um, <laughs> I am completely wiped out on, uh, on the logs and sticks, and we got mostly done. We got about halfway through the last S here, um, so I still have a lot more grinding to do, but I did see here a military crate pop up, so I'm going to check that out and, and see if there's anything worthwhile in here. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a regular piece of luggage next to it. Okay, a little bit of ammo and an explosive and gun. And duct tape and rope out of that. So they are still appearing, just much less often. Is this another one? Or is this a, is this a rock? This looks like another piece of luggage. Now, is this military or regular? Okay, this is regular. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know how it's supposed to work. Oh my goodness, yes, that's huge. Another lighter, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they just started appearing. We've gone this entire episode here uh, with really only seeing one piece of military luggage, and that was it. Now, we've seen a couple more just in a few seconds of each other. So, I don't know what the deal is, how it's supposed to work. Either way, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to keep grinding, tr try and get some more fuel here for the fire, and just see where we're at. And Because it, it's going to be nighttime here in just, nah, in just probably a few minutes. Um, and then we can go for round two here tonight. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that box was loaded and had like four 1911s and a bunch more shotgun shells. Yeah, I'm gonna, where are all, this luggage just all started appearing. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just weird. Uh, I'm gonna take that, probably eat it really quick. And I am, I am maxed out in my inventory right now. Uh, shoot. Well, I can free up some space here really quick by getting rid of some of these sticks uh, in, the, in the campfires. And it's already 5 p.m. here, so I'm thinking that it might be time to summon the Seekers. All right. Here we go. Uh, wait. I don't have a campfire started. None of my campfires are started. Why is it telling me they're going to spot me? Oh, uh, I guess let's just, let's go. <laughs> I don't know why it's telling me this, but, um, I guess it doesn't matter if we're going to be lighting them all off anyway. 
really don't like that I get stuck after every single one of these being lit up. Already got one here coming. All right, so the SOS, uh, I guess, progress bar came up at the top here. We got the entire S figured out. I'm kind of curious if I'm just doing way too much. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I didn't need all of this. I really am not sure, but either way, it's all getting done. Oh, gosh, this guy's close. Oh, really close. Oh my goodness. Okay, though, is that the only one? Okay. I don't know if, like, lighting all these up uh, at the same time allows them, allows that bar to go up higher or what the deal is. Maybe the next night I'll only light a few, just enough to get this uh, SOS signal to come up. And then um, just wait and see. Because if we only need like a handful of these to light up uh, in order for that to work, then that would make things a hundred times easier. But for now, we're basically lighting the entire forest on fire. I think I'm just gonna s extinguish some. If you guys know better, um, like if you know that like lighting more makes it go faster, let me know. So that'd be amazing information to have, <laughs> but right now it doesn't seem to make a difference. It, it seems to climb very slowly, but I don't think the amount actually affects how fast it's climbing. I think we just need to get it to the point where that bar comes up and then um, from there, we just let the rest burn. And then I wish we could take some of the fuel out of the ones that we already filled up, but it is what it is. I guess we now got a bunch of campfires <laughs> for cooking, I guess, in the future. All right, for these next guys, I've got a Molotov in hand, and I kind of just want to see what happens. All right, we got one guy over here. Uh, throw? Oh, gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he kept running after me. Oh man. Oh god. Whoa. My gun wasn't getting pulled out right. Okay, now we got a few of them on us. Good thing I am a sniper. Headshots for everyone. So, <laughs> really quick. Uh, a couple things. One, it, this must be glitched. I just, I shut off every single campfire and it still thinks I've got an SOS signal going. Um, and then number two, I'm pretty sure I only need like one campfire. I'm pretty sure I only need like one actual campfire for an SOS signal because I was not like really I wasn't <laughs> I don't know I don't know. I wasn't thinking about I, I completely overthought this entire thing. I completely overthought this entire thing. So even if you read up in the top left, the SOS signal says use a campfire to produce SOS signal at night and get rescued. I really only think that it required one campfire. <laughs> and I spelt out SOS with all the campfires. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so much time wasted. <laughs> oh man, I guess uh <laughs> I guess that's how you learn. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that I did this. It just took me longer than expected. Okay, it is quarter to seven in the morning. The SOS bar at the top has disappeared. And it looks like I just need to finish off the rest of these guys from the board that was triggered from the last wave here. 
So we've got 10 more. Let me uh, polish these guys off here and catch up with you once I'm finished. Um, okay, so... <laughs> so I learned a lot. I learned a lot on that one. The main thing being is I really just need one campfire and it could probably just be this one. I'm pretty certain that's the case. <laughs> Which is pretty embarrassing, but listen, I'm not gonna hide it from you guys. I had to learn it one way or another and that's how I ended up learning it. It is what it is. That's not the end of the world. Maybe one of you guys watching knows uh, now better for when you decide to jump into the game if you want to do that. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to finish up here, uh, top off on some food. And probably next episode, I'm thinking as long as the campfire is not glitched and it thinks that I'm using the SOS signal at night again when I'm not, um, then I might actually try and reach one of the enemy bases like I tried to do a couple uh, last episode um, unsuccessfully um, But yeah, maybe I'll give it another shot next episode and and just see what happens um, I'm really interested to see what that looks like see what that's all about um, see how difficult it may or may not be but um, Yeah with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it uh, If you did throw a like on the, on the video subscribe if you want to see more really appreciate you guys being here Thanks again so much, and I will see you guys in the next one later